Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson 19 of the Photoshop tutorial series. So today we're going to talk about how to use hue and saturation and brightness and contrast inside of Photoshop. So for that we actually need a picture. So let me just open up this picture right here. So over here you can see that we got the red boats and the blue boats. So what I want to do sometimes is I just want to change the color of the boats. So for that what I have to do is I'm going to go into image and I'm going to go into adjustment and go for hue and saturation. So you can see there's hue, saturation and lightness over here. So if I were to change the hue, the whole hue actually changes. The whole color actually changes, which I usually do not want. So there's saturation, which actually increases the saturation of the overall image. And also it helps us to make the picture black and white. And lightness is for the brightness right there. So now what we can do is uh, we can also choose particular color in a picture, a picture and then only change the color of that particular object. For example, right now we are in master. So uh, if I were to go to master and select reds, so you can see now if I change this, only the reds is being changed in the picture. And to make it more precise, after you select reds, just go and take the sample of that picture right there. So it got the exact red of that boat. And if I were to change the hue now, you can see that now all the reds are actually being affected, even this life jacket over here. So it affects basically all the reds in the picture, even this one right there. And I can see in the saturation for that particular red color and even the lightness of that particular red color. So I can even turn that into black color as you can see here. But if, what if I just want to control a part of the area and not the whole area for red? What I can do is I can simply use the selection tool and I can increase the feather so that I don't see disruptions over there. So let me select the part of the area just like this and go to image, go to adjustment, hue saturation, select the red and then select the reds just like this and change it. And you can see that only that area is being affected now and this red is actually not being changed at all. So you can change the lightness and saturation along the way as well. So let me just like uh, deselect this. Uh, this was just, uh, just a demonstration. Then over here, let us go to brightness and contrast, which is usually what I want to work with. So in order to control the brightness and contrast, simply go to image, adjustment, brightness and contrast. So if I were to increase the brightness, you can see that I can increase the brightness of a photo and increase the contrast as well to bring a contrast effect just like that. And if you want a quick solution, then what you can simply do is go to um, uh, image, adjustment and levels. So over here, you can see that there are three eyedropper tools right there. So select the first eyedropper and select the blackmost area of the picture. In this case, this is the shadow right here and the white most area when you're selecting this. So let me just select this area so you can see that it actually selects the white most area. So this actually brings out a quick contrast uh, into the picture. So you can even select this to and select the gray area so that it actually color corrects the picture to give it a more natural look. So let's say this is gray or this is gray. So whatever gray area, just click on the gray icon, gray area and what it actually will, will do is change the color to make it seem more natural and not yellowish or reddish uh, than required. So once you press OK, so this is actually how you can uh, change photograph uh, saturation, brightness and contrast uh, quite quickly. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.